Today, I will show you how to operate Raspberry Pi GPIO. We will control the state of a GPIO by programming to turn an IED on or off. There are many ways to control the Raspberry Pi GPIO, such as shell script, Java, Python, and C language. Raspberry Pi is a library written for operating the Raspberry Pi GPIO with API provided by this library. We can easily operate the Raspberry Pi GPIO. Now, let's install Varian Pi library for Raspberry Pi. After connecting the Raspberry Pi to network, we log in the Raspberry Pi by SSH. Now, you can see you have logged in successfully. Press Enter. Now, Varian Pi is cloning from the Raspberry Pi. After cloning, let's check to see it with ls command. Now, we enter into the directory. Execute ls. Execute git pull origin. Now, we run build script to compile Varian Pi and install it on our Raspberry Pi. The compiling and installation process is automatic. Now, build script is running. We can see compiling is in progress. Now, compiling and installation have been finished. We can check to see whether variant pi is installed successfully or not by executing gpio-v. Now, we can see Varian Pi is installed successfully and its version is Raspberry Pi B+. We execute GPIO read all to read the current state of all GPIOs. You can see the current state of 40 GPIOs. Now, we use API functions provided by Varian Pi library to program and turn an LED on off. Let's move on to build the circuit. This is an LED. This is a 220 ohm resistor, and these are jump welds. Connect the black weld to 3.3V and the weld to GPIO0 on the Raspberry Pi. That's the third GPIO from top to bottom on the left. Collect one end of the resistor to 3.3V on breadboard. Collect the cathode of the LED to the resistor. And collect the anode of the LED to GPIO0. Now, the circuit is built successfully. Let's move on to program. We establish a directory and home directory first for future work. A folder named test and home directory. Enter into test directory. Create a C file. Here we name it as LED.C and the test directory to operate the LED. Use VIM to open this LED.C file to edit it. First, we include a variant pi heat file. Then we include a standard input and output library. Let's start to write main function. Now, the framework of main function is completed. As the GPIO we use here is zero, so we define it first. If the return value of this function is negative one, it means variant pi library refers to node. We print failure information and return zero. Now, let's set up the mode of GPIO0. We set up it as output mode as we will use it to control an LED. Once this is completed, let's move on to main loop. We will make the LED blink circularly all the time. 
The first parameter is the pin number we have just defined. Then set the state of the pin as known. It means turn the LED on. We set the delay time as 500. The unit of delay function in wiring pi is millisecond. So the delay time is 500 milliseconds. That's 0 0.5 seconds. If we set it as high, it means turn the LED off. This is a complete program to turn our LED on off. Now we save it and exit. Let's compare the program with GCC command. Please remember to link to wiring pi library just installed when comparing. Press enter. Now we can see a file named out generated and current directory. It's an executable file after being compiled. If we execute the file, the LED will blink. We can see the LED is blinking. Press Ctrl and C to terminate. Now let's modify this program to make the LED blink faster. We open LED.c file. To make the LED blink faster, we can shorten the delay time. We change the delay time from 500 to 200 to see what happens. Save and exit. Recompile it. Re-execute the file. Now we can see the LED blinks faster. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching. See you next time.